Paano nga ba magmultiply ng decimal numbers mentally by powers of 10? Yan ang ating matututunan sa video ito. Simulan na natin. Multiplication of decimals by 10, 100, and 1,000. Example, 5.4813 times 10 or 5.4813 times 10 to the first power. So, 10 or 10 to the first power. Para sa ating rules, in multiplying decimal by 10, move the decimal point one decimal place to the right. Kung sa exponent, the exponent of 10 indicates the number of times you have to move the decimal point to the right. So, ang exponent ay 1. So, example, tingnan natin. Move lang natin ng isa, pa kanan, tingnan ng decimal point. Move natin ng isa kapag minumultiply daw sa 10. Okay, kaya magiging, magiging sagot natin ay 54.813. Another example, 5.4813 times 100 or 10 to the second power. Tingnan natin na ang rules. Pag nagmumultiply ng decimals by 100, move the decimal point two decimal places to the right. Or, the exponent of 10 indicates the number of times you have to move the decimal point to the right. So, exponent ay 2, two decimal places to the right. Okay, example, tingnan ng decimal point, Move daw tayo ng dalawang beses papunta sa kanan. 1, 2. Para sa ating sagot, 548.13. Paano naman kapag i-multiply sa 1,000? Or, times 10 to the third power. In multiplying decimal by 1,000, move the decimal point 3 decimal places to the right. Tatlong beses naman. Or, the exponent of 10 indicates the number of times you have to move the decimal point to the right. So, exponent natin ay 3, kaya 3 decimal places to the right. Okay, para sa example, Tingnan ang decimal point. Tatlong beses daw i-move natin papuntang kanan. 1, 2, 3. Kaya magiging sagot natin para dyan ay 5481.3 Another example of multiplication of decimals by 10, 100, and 1,000. 4.86 times 10 or times 10 to the first power. Para sa rules, multiplying decimal by 10, move the decimal point one decimal place to the right. Or, the exponent of 10 indicates the number of times you have moved the decimal point to the right. So, ang ating exponent ay 1. So, tingnan, i-move lang natin ng isa papuntang kanan ang decimal point. Kaya magiging sagot natin ay 48.6. Paano naman kapag i-multiply sa 100? Or 10 to the second power? In multiplying decimal by 100, move the decimal point to decimal places to the right. Or yung exponent niya na 2, 
nagsasabing mag-move lang tayo ng dalawang beses papuntang kanan. Tingnan ng decimal point para sa halimbawa, move natin ng dalawang beses pa kanan, bilangin natin. 1, 2. So, ang sagot natin ay 486. Paano naman kapag i-multiply sa 1,000 or 10 to the 3rd power? In multiplying decimal by 1,000, move the decimal point 3 decimal places to the right. Or yung exponent na 3, nagsasabing i-move lang natin ito ng tatlong beses papuntang kanan. Halimbawa, tina ng decimal point, move natin ng tatlong beses isa, dalawa, tatlo. Lagay lang natin ng zero bilang placeholder. Kaya magiging sagot natin, 4,860. E paano naman kapag multiply natin sa 0.1, 0.001, at 0.001 Example 75.16 times 0.1 In multiplying decimal by 0.1 move the decimal point one decimal place to the left of the multiplicand So ang multiplicand natin ay 75.16 I-multiply lang daw natin ng isang beses papuntang kaliwa. Bilangin natin. 1. So, magiging sagot natin dyan ay 7.516. Paano naman kapag i-multiply sa 0.01? I-multiplying decimal by 0.01. Move the decimal point two decimal places to the left of the multiplicand. So say multiplicand, move lang natin ng dalawang beses. Kapuntang kaliwa, bilangin natin one two. So ang magiging sagot natin ay point seventy five sixteen or zero point seven five one six. Nilagay lang natin ng 0 as placeholder for ones. Kapag naman i-multiply sa 0.001, para sa ating rules, in multiplying decimal by 0.001, move the decimal point 3 decimal places to the left of the multiplicand. Okay, say so multiplicand, Move lang natin ng tatlong beses papuntang kaliwa. Isa, dalawa, tatlo. Lagyan natin ng zero bilang placeholder. Kaya magiging kasagutan natin ay 0.07516 or 0.07516. Another example for multiplication of decimals by 0.1, 0.01, and 0.001. 4.56 times 0.1. In multiplying decimal by 0.1, put the decimal point one decimal place to the left of the multiplicand. So, mag-move lang tayo ng isang beses papuntang kaliwa. Kaya, magiging sagot natin, 0.456 or 0.456. Paano naman kapag i-multiply sa 0.01? In multiplying decimal by 0.01, move the decimal point Two decimal places to the left of the multiplicand. Kaya move natin ang two 
decimal places to the left. 1, 2. Then, dagdagan ng 0 bilang placeholder. Kaya, magiging sagot natin ay 0 0.0456 or 0 0.0456. How about multiplying 0.001? So, in multiplying decimal by 0.001, then move the decimal point 3 decimal places to the left of the multiplicand. Look at the example. Let us move thrice. 1, 2, 3 Then, nagdagan ng 0 bilang placeholder Kaya, magiging sagot natin ay 0 0.00456 or 0 0.00456 Para sa ating practice Complete the table Para sa tamang kasagutan, check lang ang inyong mga sariling gawa. Shout out at maraming salamat sa mga nanonood ng aking videos. Sa mga hindi pa po nakakapag-subscribe, subscribe lang po kayo. Pindutin ang notification bell para updated tayo sa mga bagong videos. Pwede po kayong mag-like, mag-comment, at mag-share ng ating mga videos. Maraming salamat. Tangan sa muli.